Going to do a quick video on Emmanuel quickly, his finishing in the paint, uh, in the non-restricted area. So this is him not quite getting all the way to the basket, but does get right into the chest of Jalen Duran using that strength that he's added over the offseason to finish. And I know Obi Toppin was wide open here. Benji Ritholtz will disown me if I don't point that out, but we're now focused strictly on the finishing ability by quickly, who just continues to get better against the opposing rim protector. He will go high off glass on the right side of the basket with Siakam in a deep drop quickly gets downhill and then kind of weaves his way to the right side to give himself a little bit of space and finishing high off glass. And then here Vucevic actually plays this one really well. I mean, quickly just makes a really tough shot. Now he's not going to draw a lot of fouls. I don't think he's seeking out contact here that often, but this is just another way for him to finish around the bigs, around those rim protectors, which he didn't really have his first couple of seasons. Another finish over Jared Allen, one of the better shot blockers in the NBA. And this one kept popping up over and over again. When he's on the right side of the court and he's going left and he gets into the middle, he's just going to continue drifting to the left. And I think that just allows him to free up a little more space to get that floater off. So again, Right side of the court, he's going left, gets in the center, and then he just keeps drifting to his left, and he still has the touch and the finesse and the craft to be able to make some of these shots. Again, hard dribble left, floater, just elite. I mean, that is just another versatile move in that floater range. And then driving left in general. He's not driving left to get all the way to the basket. Remember, this is not the restricted area. This is the paint, but not the restricted area. So he's not getting all the way to the basket, but that floater going left is still very effective. And in this case right here, he's going to reject the screen. So he's going to take two hard dribbles going to his left. The defender is right into him and quickly draws the foul and finishes. And then it gets Patty Mills here where he gets shoulders in front of him. He knows that Mills is going to try to contest from the rear. So quickly cuts him off by heading back towards on an angle to the middle of the floor and finishes pretty easily with that floater. Good work there. And then the short range midi, which quickly really had, didn't have in his game his first couple of seasons. Typically, he's picking this dribble up and he's finding a teammate, but he's going to go to that left shoulder turn. His release point's a tad bit higher than it's been in the past when he's in that area. It's just another aspect to his game that's going to make him more versatile. Again, going baseline against a tough defender, finishing, and then the offhand discard. Maybe this is the strength coming in or that craft, but... Just using that offhand to clear some space. Here, uh, Hernan Gomez is right in on him and quickly just a little bit of jab to his uh, midsection, clearing some space and finishing. And then the deceleration. And this is, I think, the, the part of his game that is just fantastic, to be honest with you. Left to right crossover. So he's going to get towards the paint and then a little slight deceleration, clearing some space. And then it's really great when he's getting downhill in transition because he is so fast with the ball. And then that deceleration will throw the defender off. He draws a ton of fouls with these plays. And when the defender is right up on him like Levert is, and then decelerates and is able to remove the shot block from the equation. And then getting downhill against the Celtics with a ton of speed, decelerates in the middle of the lane, and that causes a foul. And then he has that craft and touch to be able to finish. And then attacking closeouts where quickly is so good because teams are going to close on him hard. Even when he's not making shots, his gravity is elite. Um, it just requires a couple of dribbles, and he's already into that floater range. So he doesn't have to get all the way to the basket. Here he's going to take a couple of dribbles going left and was able to knock that floater down. And then that stop and go or that herky-jerky action where – just doesn't seem like teams ever really have a beat on him when they're trying to cover him in that area and draws a lot of fouls because of it. The defense just never really seems quite comfortable guarding him in the floater area. And just quickly, the fact that he's gotten better year after year, uh, that linear progression is certainly impressive and it's been really, really fun to watch.